like, whatever you say, daddy, whatever daddy says. Megan Fox is not shy about her passion for fiance Machine Gun Kelly, which the pair apparently express with blood drinking ceremonies. Yeah, like vampires. I think it's wonderful. The 35-year-old actress makes the confession in Glamour UK's new digital issue. She says she and MGK have different approaches to the ritual. Quote, when I do it, it's a passage or it is used for a reason. It is controlled, where it's like, let's shed a few drops of blood and each drink it. As for the rocker, Megan says he is, quote, much more haphazard and hectic and chaotic, where he's willing to just cut his chest open with broken glass and be like, take my soul. I haven't done anything like that. This isn't the first time the couple's been open about using blood to celebrate their love. When the two got engaged earlier this year, Megan shared on Instagram that the proposal ended only after we drank each other's blood. You have to be selfless. You have to always prioritize loving the other person where they are, as they are, who they are in this moment. As for if blood will come into play on the pair's wedding day, that's TBD. But at the time of their engagement, a source told ET that Megan and MGK are over the moon and more in love with each other than ever before. Quote, they know that they are each other's soulmates, so they want to get married sooner than later. He is, he's yeah. so charismatic, the tall, blonde, gorgeous, <laughs> okay. supermodel. There's no wedding date yet, but our source tells us they want something very dark yet romantic that shows off their luxe and sexy sides. Yeah, I love it. It's amazing. Now, the blood reveal isn't the only confession Megan makes in Glamour. She also shares that she's completely sober. Quote, I don't even drink a glass of wine. I don't ever smoke. I don't drink coffee. It's not really that hard to balance. She also gets candid about her kids, apparently moved to tears while discussing her parenting approach especially when it comes to letting them explore gender identity. I feel that it's my job as a mother to, to be their support system and to offer them love and to help them discover who they are, but without projecting my own ideas or my own hopes or my own failures onto them. And so that means I have to be comfortable with whatever they reveal to me. Yeah. Um, and I, I, that's just what resonates and makes sense to me. I wouldn't know how to parent any other way. Megan's opened up in the past about her child Noah's desire to wear dresses, telling the mag she bought a bunch of books that explore the topic. Quote, some of the books are just about how you can be a boy and wear a dress. You can express yourself through your clothing however you want. I was raised in the South where there were a lot of rules and a lot of restrictions and I was told exactly who I was supposed to be and judged very harshly and critically and um, that's just not something that I want for my kids. I don't want that for my little boys. The Transformer star says ever since her kids were young, she's made discussions about topics like gender identity a part of their everyday lives. But that doesn't stop the mom of three from worrying about her kids. Quote, I just wish that humanity was not like this. Although my kid is so brave, and I know that they've chosen this journey for a reason, it's just hard as a mom.